Washington, D.C., and uh, also from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Benjamin McDowell is with us in this competition. He was scheduled to be in Washington, D.C. for the Touchdown Club to be awarded the Army's Outstanding Athlete of the Year. But instead, this was more important. He had to come here and attempt to qualify for the Pan American Games. Round three, light heavyweights. And this, the 1995 Pan American Boxing Trials. Antonio Carver in the red. And in the blue, Benjamin McDowell. I could slugfest now to begin round number three. And again, separated by the referee, much to the dismay of the crowd. And a big left by Tarver that connected. I couldn't con concur more with Jesse Ravello's comments to Benjamin McDowell. He said, you're going to have to be convincing now in round number three. And I think that's what McDowell is trying to do, become convincing. But Tarver, on the same hand, is following the same suit. McDowell trying to fight his way out and successfully does so to the center of the ring. Backing in now almost above us. And Tarver, again, snapping the head back with the left. McDowell tries to counter, and they clinch. Again, tough to tell if that last throw by McDowell would count. Well, and we're not going to know, obviously, until it's all over. There's that left again. McDowell's been having a real challenge with that left hand throughout this entire bout. But in a five-judge, computerized scoring system, all you need for that blow to count is for three of those judges to press the button within one second of each other, and it goes into the computer as a scoring blow. Again, back to the center of the ring. This has been a about really Van, when you look at it, uh, neither side has been really shy about throwing the leather. No. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't, but they certainly give each other the money's worth, and now it is a slip on the part of Benjamin McDowell. And, and I would say, Ken, that, that Antonio Tarver perhaps has thrown more punches than Benjamin McDowell. Now up against the far ropes, it's McDowell. And now he fights his way out. He gets thrown on top of the rope for his trouble. Waiting moments, third round. A big left that misses by Tarver, and McDowell quick to clinch. Conditioning comes into play, and they're still capable of hurting each other. What I have seen throughout this bout, and we get a one-point warning against Benjamin McDowell for grabbing his opponent, Antonio Tarver, and, and pulling him off balance. So one point taken from his total? What they do is they add two points to the boxer who was offended, and here comes Tarver in a hurry, in a rush against McDowell in the corner. Might have butted heads, but of course that headgear protecting both fighters. And back to the center of the ring. You know, it is real possible that that, uh, that that warning could have hurt Benjamin McDowell. We'll know certainly when the final totals are posted. We'll see. Again, we don't have access to these computers uh, as, as they are being scored, but uh, very curious to see how that might have affected it. Now the waning seconds, less than a half minute to go in this light heavyweight bout. And McDowell being forced back to the far ropes by Carter, sensing perhaps that he needs to score now and in a hurry. Carver trying to connect on combinations. Ten seconds to go. You see, or you did see the time in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Carver the aggressor, and McDowell doesn't want to be there, but that's where he's going. Picks up an eight count at the hands of Antonio Tarver. Oh boy. Carver to the far corner, the neutral corner. Standing eight big administered to by Benjamin, or to Benjamin McDowell. And well, we'll see. Points deducted, standing eight count at the end. We'll see how it all adds up in this light heavyweight bout. The NBA's best play here. Today's top stars, the league's key matchups, plays of the week, plus a trip down memory lane. Step into the spotlight with NBA action. Catch NBA action here on PSN. Hi, I'm Kevin Eastman, head basketball coach of the Washington State Cougars. Follow us as we sprint through the 94-95 season on Prime Sports.
will represent the United States in the 178 pound weight class at the Pan American Games in Argentina. In the red corner, Cargo! No shot there, Tarver. And convincingly, 26 to 5, the light heavyweight representative from the United States at the Pan American Games in Argentina. There you go, The super heavyweight.